Hey, what's going on? Uh, back for a video. It's been quite a while. Um, I had to scratch the itch at the uh, local flea market. And the vendor there has gotten to know me a little bit, so he's given me 50 bucks now for 20 bucks. So these all come to uh, 40, 40 cents a piece. So I kind of want to familiarize myself with the Annihilation uh, series, so I picked up as much as I could. And this is all just kind of like reading material. I found some good good books, um, like you'll see. So what is this, Quasar 104, Annihilation Ronin <clears throat> 104, Annihilation Conquest Wraith, this is 204. I wanted to check this out since I saw Tony uh, show it off, uh, Transmetro Topolitan 35. This guy has a full set of fables. I mean, almost a full run of fables. And I just, maybe I'll pick it up next time. Another X Force 1. And what is the card? Gideon and Sunspot. I guess these are worth more or less depending on the card they come with. And um, I think Cable is one, the card you need to find. A, it's worth just a bit more. SR Besets Tyrant. I'm trying to get all of these. Just some cool dinosaur stories. Uh, X Men 294. Um, Dark Horse Insider. And this is cool. It shows. Um, this has a, uh, a Sin City preview in it. There and I mean they're not worth very much, Grendel. And then there's an um, article with Matt Wagner, the Grendel guy. So it's cool to find these and you know read the interview and you know to learn a little bit more about the creator. So Dark Horse Insider winners from '93, '94. And when I was out of collecting when this happened, Civil War. Um, Battle Damage Report, which is cool. Um, this is just kind of like an index. Um, all the characters, all the players, and how they fit into the story arc. So, it'd be good to read. Annihilation Saga, one shot. Uh, second one I pulled out of there of this, 283 X-Men, first full Bishop, Bishop, New Mutants Annual number six, uh, Shatterstar cameo, it's cool I found that, and I was stubbing through here to see where it was, and there's a second, like, backstory in this book, let me find it. Sorry, it's really shaky. And uh, tribute to second. And I found this. Dan Panosian. Panosian. He's the anchor on that second story, so. I have a good book to find. Uh, Smoke at Guns. I think this is just like a preview or advert for it. And Black Diamond on Ramp that, by a company I've never heard of. AIT Planet LAR. But uh, Smoking Guns with one, if you find it, grab it. An old Charlton Space Adventures. Spidey Phil 368. Another X Force One, Deadpool. And I think there's a few more of these buried up there. I gotta go try to dig out. Uh, G.I. Joe 130. It's a good find. Anyone catch Breaking Bad last night? It's gonna be good. Hank and Walt are already going at it at the uh, you know end of the end of the show. It's one of my favorite shows of all time, along with The Wire and of course uh, Homicide. I'm a Baltimorean, so yeah, those are my favorite shows. But you know, it's gonna be pretty apocalyptic because you know it foreshadowed in the beginning. Hank just looks all disheveled. He rolls up in that. Old Coupe DeVoe, whatever. 
Uh, so you know in between what's happening now and, and when he gets to that point, it's going to be pretty crazy. Can't wait. Seven left. Another Tyrant. Image <clears throat> Plus. This is cool. Just um, kind of gives bios on all different artists. There's Life View, Jim Lee, Valentino. So it's, it's how you learn. Career highlights. I thought there was a, yeah. Yeah, there's McFarlane. It's good to thumb through. Altered image, number one. This looked interesting. The hell, 40 cents. And this is uh, the day reality went wild. Based very loosely on the uh, Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin. Who's an awesome writer, wrote The Handmaid's Tale. Story of government sanctioned re reproduction. This is, looks interesting. Look at that spawn. Valiant Reader. It's a cool cover. Just a review of all the Valiant titles. 90, 93. Blue Beetle number one. New Teen Titans. What is this? 46. This looked interesting. Atomic City Tales. It's a Canadian publication. Kind of like a, that, you know, black and white kind of almost stick drawing, but pretty entertaining if you go through and read them, but, you know, take, take a dip for 40. Atomic Tales number two. Total Eclipse, book four. Sinkowitz cover. I forget who was showing these, but uh, this has some awesome covers. Captain Victory, Pacific Comics. Issue six. And this is Kirby. This is like Kirby on uh, PEDs. It's kind of a cool cover. But you go through here and um, look how big it is. It's like, you know, you ever see those calculators that were made for people that have a heart, you know, had sight problems where the buttons are really huge or, you know, had to, maybe they were designed for people with special needs. I mean, I don't mean that as a joke, but you're, you know, just, this is just huge like that. Completely huge. Like Kirby on steroids. Anyway, Captain Victory. This was cool. Spider-Man Gen 13. Check that out. An Image Marvel kind of get together. Uh, this book pretty much made uh, $20 worth it. Uh, X-Men uh, Annual 14. First Brief Gambit. In fantastic condition. So these two puppies here, that was worth the trip for 20 bucks. Some more Annihilation. Book one of six. New Teen Titans, what the heck, 37. I'm interested in this. Um, James White Brandon showed these off and it's kind of a twisted Marvel reality series, 1602, New World, one of five. And two of five. Another one that's a take on the Fantastic Four. This is four or five. Annihilation Nova. One of four. And I was stoked when I saw this. I discovered this guy um, in an Eclipse magazine from 1981, P. Craig Russell, and I really had no idea who he was or his contribution to the. Um, comic book industry but he's a like a multiple Eisner award winner as it turns out and did a lot of work with Neil Gaiman and Sandman and uh, is a great fantasy artist science fiction and fantasy um, and this is an anthology that ran 12 issues and uh, it's his take on literary classics and different plays uh, he also did Kill Raven and um, 
Amazing Adventures. Yeah, 27, I believe, through 30-something. But uh, this doesn't guide very high. It's actually not worth much at all, but inside is just really amazing. Um, great artist. And in the back, I saw this. Um, look at this. Like colored pencil stuff. So, you know, it's not worth a lot, but inside is really worth picking up to check out. All right. Adventure, Adventurers by Adventure Comics. This used to be an aerosol title. Uh, now it's book two, number one. So I had to give a shot. Kazar, number one. Great shape. These are all in like really dirty yellow, just shit bags. So I just haven't put them in uh, boards and bags yet. But uh, Avengers 290. Avengers 376. Civil War 3. Eventually I'll figure out what this is all about. X-Men 281. This is a third copy of this. I don't know, realize why I don't already have this. This is the third one I pulled out of there. Archangel on the cover, 286. Stoke, Shogun Warriors, number two. And Doctor Strange Annual, number three. Was this volume two? And introducing, uh, was it Killian? And who's in the back in that card? Killian, supervillain. And Cowboy Ninja Viking from Image came out a while back. Kind of like the bigger format. Well, might be worth checking out. And then I saw these two, and I thought I struck gold, but it wasn't to be. This is Strangers in Paradise. Um, one of three from Abstract Studios. Um, you want the Arctic Press, Antarctic Press one. And this should, this would be in pink, but it's the same cover. And that's a, you know, $50, $60 book. This is the gold reprint, and this is the second print. This is the Abstract Studios run of Strangers in, Strangers in Paradise, and this background will be blue. This would be in gold, but... Now I know. So anyway, thanks for watching. Some uh, better stuff on the way. Just had to get to that flea market. I don't, just can't help myself. But those two are worth it right there. All right. Take care, y'all.